everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see, all the trusses are up, and I've begun the process of bracing everything. Bracing is a super important part of building a structure because, you know, if you put up a post, it might look straight to your eye, but, you know, if you have two posts next to each other, one's leaning one way, the other's leaning the other way, by the time they get to the top, they could be like two or three inches apart from each other. So it's really important to actually find out that whether things are straight and force them to be straight, you know, before you get going with everything. So that's what I did a little bit of yesterday. You can see some diagonal bracing on here. I'm using a level to make sure things are actually vertical and then uh, putting on these diagonal braces. I've done this whole wall here. I've done uh, the, the ends to make sure that the structure wasn't leaning one way or the other. Actually the entire thing was leaning a little bit that way. So that's what these braces are for is to pull the whole thing back. I used a, uh, a piece of, uh, well um, not a piece of, a, uh, a tie down strap like to uh, kind of ratchet it down and then got it all nailed in. I, I left the ratchet strap because it's like, you know, it's helping to brace it as well. And I'm, I'm just about to do this backside right here. I started by getting this thing uh, plumb. I used the level, put the level up next to it, got the thing plumb and hammered in this board. And now what I'm going to do is transfer the fact that that is straight to all of these other ones. That corner is exactly where it wants to be. So I'm going to uh, use that as a benchmark to get everything else nice and straight. I'm going to take this board and I'm going to nail it uh, to some random board in the middle, which is going to be this one here. I'm going to make sure it's not overshooting on the outside because I need to be able to put my boards on the outside. So I'm going to make sure that it is in a good position on that first post. I'm going to nail it in here and this nail is going to be temporary because I don't know whether this thing's straight up and down or not. I know this one is. So I'm going to nail it in over here. Now, why did I do that middle one? It's a pretty simple reason. Let me get some more nails here. It's a pretty simple reason, and the reason is, is it's, that's a 16-foot long piece of strapping, and as light as strapping is, it's really hard to just hold something from one end, you know, and pick it up the whole way. If I tried to grab this thing from over here and hold it up the whole time and nail it in, it'd be really difficult. If you had a second set of hands, somebody could hold it in the middle, but I don't. So I temporarily put it here so I can tack it down there, and now I'm going to go along this line and start uh, making sure these guys are all straight up and down plumb. Looking at the bubble, this thing needs to push that way a little bit. So I get a sense of where I want to put my nail. Got the nail ready to go in. Put this guy back on here. And I'm just going to push until it looks good. Give a hit, let the bubble settle. Make sure it's still level, or not level, plumb. Do another hit, I think I've engaged. All right, cool. I'm going to skip past this one, and now I'll do this post. And once this is supported, I can pull that and then get that one good. Let's see, how's this one looking? This one also is uh, leaning towards me. So I'm going to take the nail, put it favoring your direction a little, because I know I'm going to be pushing the post that way. All right. And I put this on here. If I needed to pull it, I'd put the level on the other side and kind of pull it with my hand. Oh, wait, no, I had that backwards. I actually do need to pull it. So I'm going to put this here. Pull the thing towards me a little. And I missed the nail altogether. Is that good? I think it engaged. Okay, so now at this point, I go in and I pull this one back out. So now this post is free to move and I can set it level. I would let you see this, but I know these clips are only five minutes long. I don't want to time out, but you get the, the idea is, uh, you know, you do them one at a time. Uh, this board doesn't fit, uh, doesn't reach all the way to this back one. Once I get this, this guy set, I will put another board under here that'll extend to there and then I'll grab that one. And at that point, everything is braced out and I can start with my, my sheathing. That's it. Thanks for watching.